Okay, we're gonna talk about Skipper's uh, sunfish hoist, which today got christened uh, being a super sailfish hoist or a sailfish deluxe 14 from the 1950s. We had our boat uh, named Tracker on this uh, work dolly, which is the rolling cart underneath and the top part of it just happens to be a strong back we're gonna use to build a cat boat. So Tracker was resting on the dolly, but she was outside. Cover is not waterproof, kept most of the rain up off, but some was getting in the boat. So we wanted to move her into the sunfish shack, flipped her over, trained her out. Probably, uh, I don't know, three quarters of a cup of water or so, which we're guessing may have got in through any one of the you know hundreds of feet of seam on the boat just from water collecting in a seam and sitting there for a couple of days it's some of it's going to seep in eventually especially if you get two inches of rain in a day over a couple of times on a week uh, this boat came with a drain plug someone had added so we put in a new one and just left it we could have sealed it but we've seen factory drain plugs here before Someone just put in a newer style. So we flipped the boat over because we know from having worked inside the boat, this is the lowest points on the top. So flipped it over, elevated the bow so the water would run down to here. A little bit drained out, and then we took a, a shop vac to uh, suck out the rest of it. And we'll leave that open to uh, let uh, some air circulate. That's what kills these old uh, wooden Sunfish and sailfish is uh, letting water, excessive amounts of water, stay in them. And uh, this Deluxe 14 also had a drain plug up on the bow. And I'm not really certain that you drain much out of there because the deck stops right here. So you could have water level all the way up to here. And the deck stops up here. So there could be water level all the way up to here. So unless you stood the boat on its bow and tilted it this direction. I don't know that much water would come out. You could maybe open that and force in some low volume, low pressure air and uh, get that through. So right now we've got her upside down because that's how she was on the dolly. Some of the features, we'll talk about this boat for a minute, of a Sailfish Deluxe 14 from the 1950s was it had that, uh, they call it a dry deck combing. They also came with uh, a, a rub rail and a tow rail which comes in handy if you're trying to keep from sliding off the boat they also Alcourt went from a kind of a plain bow handle to this Wilcox Crittenden chromed handle comes down around to this little tab here and then they continue on with the keel piece runs about 18 inches back underneath and that's what made this deluxe versus your basic uh, Sailfish 14. And there's also a Sailfish 12, which originally was just the only boat they had and just called a Sailfish. You can tell if you've got a 12 foot or 14 foot Sailfish by one measuring it and by two looking to see how many loops are in the handrail. There's like one, two, three loops, which make it the 14 footer, which could be called the Super Sailfish or the Sailfish 14, and if it's a fiberglass boat, it's a Super Sailfish Mark II. So back to Skipper's Hoist. We used all uh, Alcord hardware and uh, some old uh, sheets from uh, Sunfish and Sailfish. So we took an eye strap with the uh, little brass or bronze snap shackle, and this is a uh, Sunfish sheet. Comes down under the boat, back up to a uh, halyard block and we've run it over to a halyard cleat which is uh, buried under here somewhere put one towards the bow one towards the stern and then when we're ready to lift the boat we can roll it in on a dolly throw the line underneath and uh, lift up one end which i can usually do by myself get it, cleat it off, and then come around and do the other end, cleat it off. And kind of the key to this whole operation is really this uh, 
halyard block right here that's got the little uh, shiv on it so that uh, when you when you go to pull on the line it moves freely I had the poor man's sunfished over hoist over here which has is just the sheet with no uh, no eye strap no block no cleat and it's uh, that sheet doesn't run very freely over that two by six piece of lumber there so we'll go back I found all the all the bits that we brought from Florida with us and then go back and upgrade this side here to with the correct hardware and keep uh, shuffling pieces in and out we left uh, trackers bow up just a little bit one to encourage any water that's left over to drain towards the stern we bring the shop back out later make sure we've gotten any last bit of it with this you could also take the boat and tilt it just a little bit to help the water run to that any water run to that far corner the um, these boats are built so that the water they do have limber holes which are there's deck there's framing there's frames inside that run laterally and there's a little limber hole notch cut on the bottom part of the frame and on the top part of the frame so if the boat's on its side the water can run that way and also the frames themselves where they go across they are not attached to the deck there's just very small like gap between the deck and the whole plywood panel the deck panel and the frame inside so that water can seep through that way so the water can run uh, fore and aft and get back to where that drain plug is as long as you tilt it up a little bit with the exception being the uh, the the wooden sunfish which has a, a cockpit right in the middle of it so what they did with that on the early models they just left limber holes running right into the cockpit through the bulkhead and on later models they left they sealed up the cockpit bulkheads but then they put a drain plug for the bow compartment and a separate drain plug for the stern compartment and those are located on the deck usually on opposite sides of each other so we're gonna i'm gonna go find skipper put her on her little john deere tractor so she can tow this uh, combination work dolly this is the one that has our articulating bunks on it that's right now carrying around this 16 foot long strong back contraption for the cat boat that we're uh, slowly pulling pieces together for and we'll keep on uh, decking out our uh, sunfish shack here getting the pieces and parts where we need them some boats uh, in here are being hosted right now like the uh, seafoam green penobscot and the red and white super sailfish they're going to end up in the carriage house once we get that built so it's a little over capacity right now but that'll be fixed eventually it'll just be uh, probably the fiberglass sunfish and maybe the little eight foot punt and a few other bits and pieces maybe put a little convert these hoist over into a little kayak uh, where we can hang our uh, suspend our kayaks or something hope y'all are having a good one